Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the GATE 2016 online virtual calculator. So let me just open the virtual calculator. Here we have the link. And this is the virtual calculator that we are going to be using. So let's talk about it. Here you see on the right side we have the, all the numerals we have to input. And on the left side you find the basic uh, functions that we can use. So let's go into it. This is the type pad or the click pad where you click the numbers. This is the backspace. If you click on backspace the last digit gets deleted. So that's the backspace and this is the division, multiplication, subtraction, addition and this is the decimal normal calculations. So this C will delete or clear both these things or it will clear everything the top bar shows what you have uh, clicked and the bottom bar shows the result so you click see the both gets deleted this is the positive or negative button you want a negative number you click on any number then click here you got negative for 5 you click again you got positive of 5 Likewise, this is the square root. You want square root, you click on the number, I click on this function. Directly it will show the result. No need of clicking equal to on this time. So this is the square root. This is the percentage that is uh, what percent of what or x percent of y. Like I write 5, click 5, then click percent, then click 10 equal to 5 percent of 10 is 0.5 that is 500 into 10 that is 0.5 so this is the percentage and here you have the reciprocal function click on the number then click here it will directly show the result without clicking on equal to this is reciprocal of 4 is 0.25 so let's move here this is the mod function it will show the remainder of x divided by y like 9 mod 6 equal to 3 so what does it mean we we uh, divide 9 by 6 so we get 3 as the remainder so the mod function gives you the remainder so that's the mod function then here we have the degree and radians you can choose which one you want in your calculations so after this we have here the hyperbolic sine cos and tan inverse hyperbolic sine cos and tan use this to use this you click the number then you click on the function so sine hd hyperbolic sine in degrees if I choose radians then sorry you have to first type the numeral then on the number cos h r r for the radian h for hyperbolic so let me clear it then we have pi you can use anywhere like sin h or you click on the number then you click on the function sin h radians in pi is this one so this is the E 2.718 then we have the factorial click on the number click on the factorial directly you will get the answer no need of clicking equal to here so that is 120 and then we have the ordinary trigonometry functions like sine cos tan inverse sine or arc sine arc cos or arc tan so and likewise you can use with degree or radians you have to choose here like uh, I want sine inverse 1 then I click on 1 then click on sine inverse that is a sine in degree 1 it will be 90 degree so that's it about here then we go to here we have the 10 to the power function so like we need uh, 20 e5 that is 20 into 10 to the power 5 so i write i i click 20 then click on exp then click on 5 then click equal to so that is 20 e to the power 5 
और ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन टू दावर फाइव नॉट ई टू दावर दिस इज नॉट द सेम ईयर ऑब्वियसली दिस इज टेन टू दावर एज यू फाइंड इन योर कैलकुलेटर साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर्स दिस इज ईज ई एक्स वी इज टेन टू दावर सो ट्वेंटी ई एक्स वी फाइव ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन टू दावर फाइव दैट इज हियर सो दिस दिस आर दैरेंथिस यू कैन यूज आर द्रैकेट्स You click the first bracket, then you type in anything like five plus three. Then the second parenthesis into again parenthesis five minus three. Then click equal to that is sixteen. So this is the use of parenthesis. Quite simple actually. Then we have the log base ten. For using this first type, the number like I type, I'll click on ten, then click on log base ten. So log base ten of ten is equal to one. This is the natural logarithm that is log base e. So I click e, then ln, and log log e of base e is one again. And this is the log x base two. So I type two. then click on this so log x base 2 of 2 is 1 so it is quite uh, simple actually then the part here comes is log x base y how to use this what is the syntax first you have to type the o x here suppose i want log uh, 400 of base 20 So I first click 400. That is the x. Then I click on this function log x plus y. Then I click on the base, which is 20. So log 400 base 20. Then I click equal to. You get 2. Log 400 base 20 is 2. Then we have e to the power x. Click on the x you need. Then click here. You get 10 to the power x. x to the power y first click on x then click on here then click on y then click on equal to so pi to the power 6 x to the power y clear it x cube whatever x you need like 3 cube directly we got no need of equal to here then again 2 this is the square no need of equal to as square root 2 is 4 then Yth root of x. How to calculate this? First, we have to type the x. Suppose I need uh, root of thirty-two, fifth root of thirty-two. So I type thirty-two. Then click on this function. Then I type the root or click the root. Let me yes, sorry. Let me do it again. Thirty-two. Click here. Then five. So fifth root of Thirty-two is equal to two, right? So this is the cube root, like twenty-seven. Uh, then click here. Directly we got three. This is the absolute. Like uh, we have negative absolute. See. So this is the calculator. Now we just go to this part. Which most of you have doubts about. So let me tell you. This is the memory clear. This is memory recall. This is memory set or memory save, whatever. This is memory add. This is memory subtract. So how to use this? What this does? This stores uh, a number in the memory. Suppose uh, I choose eight or whatever. You calculated. You want to store it in memory. Suppose eight. Then I click on M S or memory set. Then you see one M comes here. So in the memory it is there. Now you do any calculations or whatever. They it will be there in the memory. Now what about this M R? If I click on M R, we got memory recall. Means it recalls whatever whatever it is there in the memory. 
so and this MC means if I click this M just vanishes and there is nothing in the memory zero so again I said this as memory now let me tell you about the M plus and M minus so if I if I got something like 6 and I want to add it in the memory add it to the thing that is in the memory I type I click 6 or uh, let me type 6 then I click on M plus then I again if I do the memory recall it will be 14 it was there 8 and I added 6 so it is 14 again I will add so what we will get 20 because the result is 14 and in the memory it was 14 so I got 14 plus 14 28 so suppose I clear this and I can click 6 M plus M plus 2 times if I click M plus what will happen in the memory we have now 28 now let me recall it we have 40 so 2 times 6 will be added so that is the M plus likewise it is also in M minus so we have in memory now 40 so let's uh, click 10 M minus M minus so what you should get now when you recall the memory I have, I have subtracted 10 2 times so 40 minus 10 minus 10 20 so we have this this is the memory functions and lastly you can just clear it and clear everything so this is the short video on the calculator some of you might have some doubts so I made this video I hope it helps you and best of luck for your exams and thanks for watching